This is the Oasis. When I read Ready Player One, I was completely wowed by it. I suddenly saw a future, and it wasn't that far away from what I think is going to happen. It's a place where the limits of reality are your own imagination. I could not have written Ready Player One if I had not grown up on a steady diet of Steven Spielberg movies. Everybody, I think, who dreams of making movies dreams of getting to work with him. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the Oasis itself. Ernie's book was visionary, and it needed a visionary filmmaker, so who better than Steven Spielberg to tell this story? Cut, one more time, right away. And action. Hold on to something. If there was anybody who you were going to entrust to bring Ready Player One to the screen in a way that has tremendous integrity, it would be Steven Spielberg. Everyone is just so excited to be a part of a massive film like this and to have Steven at the helm. It's been a dream come true. Perfect, really good cut. Print that one, nice. I'm here talking to all of you now because our future's being threatened by people who will stop at nothing to win this contest. Steven is very engaging with us. He loves actors and he's willing to try different things and feel out the scene, but really he knows exactly what he wants. I just figured it out. Figured what out? The second clue, I know what it means. Stephen will think of things on the spot. He'll just shout it from behind camera. Oh, Olivia, say this. Do that. And it's just, it works. Like the whole scene with the camera only going this far. A game decides our fate. The only question is how far are we willing to go to win it? He's incredibly focused on performance. The precision that he is able to give his actors and also want from his actors is phenomenal. <laughs> The special effects are going to be groundbreaking, unlike anything anybody's ever seen before. And I asked Adam Stockhausen, our production designer, to design the future. Right at the very beginning, Stephen got together with us and talked about this world that's split into two halves. So we're creating the virtual world, the Oasis, but then we're also creating the real world and Wade's community, the Stacks probably the most iconic image from the book, and now it's a reality. And I could just imagine the stacks and how it would function, but he's made it into a real working city. Alan! I just wanted this movie to be a story about characters who meet in the oasis, and they all become best friends. And at the same time, I wanted it to be a very streamlined adventure. I am Parzival of the High Five. In the name of Artemis, in the name of H, in the name of Daito and Sho. Help us save the Oasis.